Introducing Secretary Clinton. Hello, this is Hillary Clinton. Hello, dear Secretary. I'm so glad, so proud to hear you. I'm I'm really glad and I'm really happy. But the situation, you know, I'm con constantly follow follow your statements, and I know that you are in a group of Yermak Rasmussen, and uh, you know that the situation is any anyway. It's uh, quite different. And um, the, prob the problem yeah. is when we will receive the help, when we will receive the aid. And um, the problem is that we uh, now with this, uh, with these new conditions, we have to uh, get back uh, money for the credit. And it is, uh, well, it is. Hard well, I, I think we'll take it. I think we'll take it one step at a time. Um, and then I'm told uh, that it's been positioned so that it can be moved as quickly as possible uh, to you in Ukraine. So I'm hoping that the aid gets there uh, very, uh, very quickly uh, in time to do some good for you. Okay. Uh, well, but the problem is uh, you, when we see another threat, it is, uh, it is a case of uh, coming elections in the U.S. and uh, when the president will be different, it uh, will give us some problems, because as we see, uh, we are ready to we are ready to fight and we fight uh, as as we as we can. But uh, I see that the problem is what is uh, what is Donald Trump is saying. You're you're right. It 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 is, it is uh, terrible, and I am doing everything I can to uh, reelect. President Biden, and I am very hopeful that that will be the outcome in November. Uh, but obviously, it is a very uh, difficult uh, time in this country. Uh, but I, I really believe that it's important uh, for Ukraine to continue to do all that you're doing. And I really commend you uh, for your support. Uh, you've been a, a very strong uh, voice on behalf of uh, your people and your country. And let, let's take it, you know, as, as, as we can, uh, giving you the, the means you need to support yourself to try to uh, not only hold the line, but engage in an offensive, an offensive. And then obviously many of us in this country will do everything we can to reelect President Biden. Well, I hope so. I hope, though, because you know that uh, President Trump hates Ukraine, and it is uh, it is not good news for me. Uh, and the situation is complicated around, around aid, and you know that uh, uh, a lot of Republicans. Uh, it is difficult to understand. In well, Ukraine. look, I, I I think that that you're right to be concerned. I would never tell you not to be because it, he's a very dangerous uh, uh, candidate, and he would be. Uh, very bad for the United States, as well as for uh, uh, the rest of the world, including uh, Ukraine. But I do think that uh, the more that, that Ukraine can continue to demonstrate its, uh, you know, resilience and its resolve uh, and do what you're doing on the battlefield, do what you're doing in a, you know, very strong uh message to the rest of the world. Uh, so that has to be your, you know, your uh, understanding that you go forward as best you can. And the rest of us will do everything we can to continue supporting you and to support President Biden. And may I ask you, you know that the, I was the main initiator of Ukrainian uh, joining to NATO. Um, what what does your inner yes, circle? I remember. Uh, I, yeah. yeah, I put it in the constitution of Ukraine. A special uh, article. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. And what does your inner circle uh, look? I say? I think it. Uh, yeah, we we are we are working very hard to persuade the Germans and the Americans uh, to move on this. I don't know what the um, final decision will be, but you know, as you say, Rasmussen and Yermak yeah. and others are working very hard. Yeah, I really hope on uh, next uh, NATO summit in Washington that uh, we will get, uh, uh, if we do not receive any official invitation, it will be, it will hurt our reputation very hard at this moment. Um, 
as I see. Well, I certainly, I support it, and I, I, I support it, and I know many people who do, and, and we will be uh, working to make the argument as, as strongly as possible. Yeah, and the problem with Russia, that we can, uh, we can strike with them, but unfortunately, after Navalny's death and the relocation of the opposition, it's not so easy to work inside. Many of the oppositioner, oppositioners are fighting on our side now, they say that it is necessary and useful to fight their propagandists, uh, some of their ideologies. Well, that, 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 I know some people, yeah, some people feel that way, that, you know, but on the other hand, that's one of the reasons why Europe has done more to help you than I think any of us would have predicted, don't you? Yeah. Well, um, the, the problem is that we also need to fight inside Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everyone has a... Has a Everyone has a stake in making sure that you are successful uh, in in pushing, uh, you know, pushing the Russians out as far as you can. Uh, and and I, you know, I don't know what is actually possible, especially with this new weapon. And I know that inside the appropriations uh, bill, there was, uh, you know, w language for even more weapons. Thanks, dear secretary. I think that the dictators didn't learn their their lesson after Gaddafi. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I I think that's true. But as I as I mentioned, the main threat is Trump. Yeah. The main threat is Trump because he will ask for money back. It will be a disaster. After all, he wants to end the conflict on Russia terms. And if you remember, when I was president, we were looking for his uh, connections with Russia. But when Trump became a president, they just started interfering with me. They were already looking for any compromising evidence on uh, President Biden, on Burisma, and even on you and his administration uh, w were asking me, can you help us? I, I know. He's a, very, he's a very bad guy, as I know personally from uh, you know, yeah. having to uh, run against him. He's a very, very bad guy. But uh, let's, let, you know, Peter, let's, let's take one step at a time. Let's get this material. Let's get it to your soldiers. Let's try to get some of the Russian frozen assets. Let's yeah. work on NATO. You know, if, if the worst happens, if Trump were to win, we will all have to figure out what to do. But I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. And I think that we can request a hearing in the parliament uh, to find something on him before the election. I think that he has problems in the court it is, uh, because of... Uh, that uh, uh, mutiny and that was made in 2020. And I think that we can attack him from different sides before the elections. Good. Well, anything you can do to attack him, I'm all for because he's a, he's a very dangerous man. Yeah, I can send my, I can send my people uh, in, in the U.S. Uh, from the embassy to you. To, uh, to well, help. thank you for thank you for reaching out. Thank you for reaching out to me. Yeah. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. What, uh, by the way, how is the bill? What, what does he think? Oh, he, he, he's very, very good. And, uh, you know, he's helping Biden also. He, uh, he and I have done, you know, we, we've been helping Biden in every way we can, and we will continue to do so. But I will give him your greetings. I remember, yeah, sounds... remember when we were all in Yalta in Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But he's a, he's a, he... <laughs> He's a great he's a great man because he, st he started the extension of NATO and uh, many countries as a Poland and uh, yep. uh, that yep. uh, and his job should be I should know. be finished with Ukraine because well he, we're going we, he's very supportive and we're going to keep doing all that we can to help you Thank you very much dear secretary and I would say that I would Thank call you. I, I would call you vice president for my thoughts. I, I thought that <laughs> it, it would be great if you will go as a running mate, mate with him, with President Biden, because I think it will stra strengthen your, your team. So it's a good idea. Just just sorry about my uh, statement. No, no, you're doing you're doing what you need to do. You're standing up for your country. I appreciate that. And I stand it for your country and God bless America. You bet. And Slava Ukraina, I hope we so, can see victory or at least a lot of progress, okay? Yeah, and we will see a new Qaddafi soon, I hope. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, my friend. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Take care. And send great, greetings to uh, President Clinton. Bye. Bye. I will pass it on. Thank you. Thank you.